You might be surprised by how much free stuff you can still get on the plane even if you're flying in economy. Airlines aren't exactly advertising these freebies, but they are available to you if you know to ask. One tradition that remains on most flights are complimentary drinks at any time. When you're flying, you'll often get free drinks during the beverage service like soda, juice, coffee, and water. If you prefer, you can ask for a whole can of soda or a full bottle of water instead of the small cup that you are offered. This is handy if you're not thirsty right away and want to save your drink for later. And if you do decide that you'd like another drink, you can press the flight attendant call button or go to the back of the plane and request another drink for free anytime during the flight. If you are on an international flight overseas, such as between the US and a European country, most major airlines will also offer free alcohol during the drink service. The variety of amenities and free items you might receive on a flight can vary widely depending on multiple factors, including the airline, the specific route, and even the day that you fly. On many flights, beyond what you see available to you on the beverage cart, there is often a secret menu of free drinks that you can choose from. Take a peek at the menu that's found in the magazine tucked into the seat back pocket or browse a digital version of the menu on the entertainment system. You might be surprised to find options like flavored sparkling water, a wider selection of juice and sodas, and even specific spirits for a mixed drink. If you are interested in beer and wine on the flight, then this menu can also reveal exactly what types of beer and wine are offered, saving you from the dilemma of choosing between an unspecified red or white. For hot drinks, there's often more available than just coffee and black tea. If you are trying to avoid caffeine, or if you just want your hot drink to actually be hot, which is not always the case when it's being served from one of the canisters on the beverage cart, you do have an option to request a decaf coffee or even a hot chocolate. These aren't usually visible on the beverage cart, but flight attendants can prepare them for you fresh upon request. Keep in mind though that the decaf might be instant and it might come with a bit of a wait as it's usually going to be prepared and served to you after the main drink service has ended. Hot chocolate also falls into this special category where it's often not visibly available to you on the beverage cart, but you can get it by request. Let us know down in the comments what you prefer to drink on the plane. Many people opt for tomato juice even if they don't usually drink it. The science behind this is that our taste buds are dulled at high altitude, making certain strong flavors, like tomato juice, more enjoyable when we fly than if we were to have it on the ground. Passengers can also get free hot water at any time during the flight, and this can be game-changing if you do come prepared. Despite some debate about the cleanliness of airplane hot water tanks, it's generally considered safe, and I will personally drink hot water on a plane. To get hot water, all you need to do is walk to the back of the plane and kindly ask a flight attendant. You should never try to get the hot water by yourself, even if you see the hot water tap available. There are good reasons for this, including both safety and etiquette, as the flight attendants are there to ensure that the hot water is handled safely to prevent any spills or burns. What I love to do is bring along a wide mouth thermos and then have it filled with hot water to open a ton of options from caffeine-free peppermint tea, instant oatmeal, and even soup. These are some of my favorites, but just think ahead about what might hit the spot for you during your flight and then pack these in your personal item bag. If a snack is offered on your flight, it is good to know that it's pretty easy to snag an extra one and there are a few non-awkward ways to go about getting it. First up, when the snack cart is making its rounds and you're stuck choosing between cookies and pretzels, why not have both? Politely saying, I'd love both please, is often all it takes. If there is one particular snack that you're eyeing and you would like extras of, just ask if it's possible to have one more. More often than not, the answer will be a quick yes. Flight attendants usually have plenty of snacks to go around, so you're unlikely to encounter any hesitation or raised eyebrows. At times, a flight attendant might ask to serve everyone first and then indicate that they'll circle back to you with any leftovers. And if you are on a longer international flight, there's often a secret self-serve snack station at the back of the plane. Checking out this station is my favorite way to grab an extra snack since it's a great opportunity to see all of the options available, grab what you want without having to ask, and stretch your legs while you're at it. On international flights with major airlines, you may still have a free meal included with your ticket. If you find yourself still hungry or just curious about trying something different, it's often possible to request a second meal. While it's not guaranteed, 
Asking for another meal once everyone has already been served gives you a pretty decent chance at getting it, assuming there is food left over. In addition to a second serving, on most flights where a meal is served, you can often get a custom meal for free. A lesser known tip is pre-ordering a special meal, such as vegan or vegetarian, not only to meet your dietary preferences, but also to be served before anyone else in the cabin. This early service lets you enjoy your meal while it's hot and fresh and gives you a head start on the post-meal bathroom rush since you'll likely finish eating before the passengers around you have even been served. I'll usually order a special meal and I'm often surprised to see how few other passengers are using this strategy. You can often pick a special meal while booking your flight ticket or by contacting the airline at least 48 hours before departure and requesting it. On many flights, you can enjoy a wide range of free entertainment through the Seatback Entertainment System or by downloading the airline's app on your own device. This includes free access to movies, TV shows, music, meditation apps, in-flight stretching guides, and even interactive maps to track your flight's progress. Additionally, these entertainment systems offer useful information like insights into your destination or layouts of airports that you might be transiting through. This information can be incredibly reassuring if you have a tight time frame to catch your next flight since the airport maps can show you exactly where you will need to go once you get off the plane. When facing tight connections, especially if you're seated near the back of the plane, expediated deplaning is a valuable free service that you might not know about. If you are worried about making your next flight due to limited time, inform a flight attendant about your situation. They might be able to help you get off the plane before other passengers potentially saving you from missing your connecting flight. In some cases, if a seat closer to the front of the plane is available, the flight attendant might even move you there to help you get off the plane faster. These seats might also belong to premium economy or business class, which would just be a bonus free perk. So if you are at all anxious about a tight layover, don't hesitate to let a flight attendant know at the boarding gate or once you are on the plane. In-flight messaging is another freebie that's offered by many major airlines like Southwest and Delta. These airlines will make you pay for in-flight Wi-Fi, which is often not very good. They will allow passengers to send messages through specific apps such as iMessage, Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp at no extra cost. Just make sure you download these necessary apps before your flight. On the other hand, JetBlue stands out from other airlines by offering free in-flight Wi-Fi across all of their flights, whether it's domestic or international. This means passengers can use messaging apps as well as enjoy streaming, browsing, and staying connected just as they would on the ground without any additional fees. Unfortunately, JetBlue, along with many other airlines, have certain amenities that were once complimentary that are now subject to fees. I'll dive into the details of what is no longer free near the end of this video so you know how to prepare accordingly. For now, let's continue with what you can still get for free. Kids under two years old can fly for free or at a significant discount on many airlines, which can be a game changer for family travel. For example, Southwest Airlines allows children under two to fly for free on their parents' lap. Meanwhile, Delta Airlines lets kids under two fly on a parent's lap for approximately 10% of the cost of an adult ticket on international flights. Unfortunately, I have not been able to make use of this free seat perk because Ollie does not qualify. He's over too. Another great tip for parents is to check and see if the airline offers free kits to keep kids entertained. United Airlines gives out a kit with an activity book, crayons, and a puzzle catering to kids of all ages. United is also leading the way as the first US airline to offer a sensory calming strip that has a textured surface to help soothe anxiety. And you don't need to be a kid to get it. If you are traveling with children under 12, some airlines, like United once again, have a family-friendly policy allowing you to book economy and basic economy seats next to each other at no extra cost. This means you won't have to pay any additional fees for seat selection to ensure that you're seated with your kids. And for those traveling without children, it is good to know that most major airlines offer the chance to pick your seat for free during the 24-hour check-in window before your flight. This benefit is based on a first-come, first-served basis, so it's definitely wise to head to the airline's website and check in as soon as the check-in window opens. Doing so can help you avoid less desirable seats, like the middle seat, or being separated from your group. Another freebie that's often overlooked on flights is getting an extra blanket or an extra pillow. Now, we're not talking about five-star hotel quality here, 
But believe me, an additional pillow can transform your seating comfort, especially when it's tucked behind your lower back. For those on long haul flights, grabbing an extra blanket can also be a lifesaver as cabin temperatures often drop significantly during the flight. But just a heads up, these blankets and pillows are meant to stay on the plane. They are airline property and intended to be washed and reused for the next traveler, so taking them with you as you get off the flight is a no-go. On most flights, you'll also have access to some basic medications as well as first aid supplies. Planes are equipped with medical kits that cover small health concerns, from medicine for headaches and stomach issues, to bandages from things like a blister from your new travel shoes. Just let the flight attendant know what's bothering you, and they'll likely have something to help. For free, sanitation supplies are usually available for free too. It's a good idea to wipe down your seating area upon boarding, including the armrest, tray table, and the seatback entertainment system, as they may not be thoroughly cleaned between flights. I like to bring my own sanitizing wipes from home and through airport security since the wipes do not count as a liquid, but it's good to know that flight attendants typically have a large supply and are generally willing to provide you with some if you ask. Some amenities that were once complimentary on flights now come with an extra charge. Unfortunately, one of these is headphones. And unless you have a Bluetooth adapter for your wireless headphones, you will need to pack a pair of wired headphones in order to use the seatback entertainment system with sound. If you forget, or if you don't have a set of wired headphones or a Bluetooth adapter, then you may need to purchase a set of headphones on board and are often not provided with these free of charge. In addition to knowing that you will need to pay for headphones, it is important to keep in mind that buying headphones, or anything else, on a flight has become more complicated. Most airlines have transitioned to in-app payments only, meaning that you need to download the airline's app and then preload a payment method before your flight in order to make any purchases while on board. So if you don't plan ahead and preload a payment method, you'll be out of luck as cash, credit cards, and the tap on your phone won't be accepted for most purchases with most airlines. Remember that every flight is going to be different, and while there is no guarantee that you will get it, it's never going to hurt to ask for any of the free things that I listed in this video. To know exactly what's available on your flight and prepare accordingly, check the airline's website, contact their customer service, or speak with a gate agent before boarding. For additional information, websites like InFlight Feed provide current details on airline meals and drinks, while NerdWallet has a great article that offers insights into the entertainment options available by airline. And if you are looking for additional ways to prepare, I collected a list of my all-time favorite flight comfort hacks to survive a long-haul flight in economy in a recent video. I'll put this video up on the screen now and link it in the description for you to watch next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks each week, and I'll see you in that next video soon. Safe travels and thanks for watching. Bye.